so we've got another garden bed um a few uh plants that are still out here in buckets we're gonna end up moving now that we've got this bed sitting on top of the cardboard uh, the plants are still coming through the creases and all that um if you notice there are some purple hole peas that need to be picked out here <laughs> They definitely need to be picked out here. And you can see there's caterpillars on them. Because I have not sprayed these with BT. Um, I see where a mouse has been kind of taste testing them. Pulled a few seeds out. And you guys saw the other day um, these rooster combs. There are a few spiders on here now. Um... They're starting to produce seeds. They're not ready yet. Um, I did promise some seeds to uh, some people, and I don't remember who. So if uh, if you ask me to save you some rooster comb, celosia, coxcomb seeds, um, I'd love if, if you would uh, comment again, um, and I'll try to write your name down. The bindweed is starting to kind of take over um these greens and when you try to pull it they'll yank the whole plant up with you look at that this one's way over here how look at that that's about six feet long but anyway um yeah it'll choke your plants out in a heartbeat none of these are bolting yet because um they were planted in the spring instead of usually what I, what I was doing was planting them in the fall so that they bolt in the spring. Um, that was what this group that was over here was doing. And so now I've got some that are um, going to be uh, flowering year round, which is kind of, you know, what my plan was to make sure that I've always got access to seeds in case, you know, there's a hail storm or, you know, something like that that kind of destroys our you know seed harvest um this is an indigo blueberry and i got it from um the swarmstead bruce look at that it's kind of purplish on one end and then green on the other now i'm not going to make um tomato jelly with it i am making tomato jelly either today or tomorrow i got the recipe for tomato jelly from um healthy homestead chick so i'm looking forward to to doing that uh we got a few romas and stuff like that uh from our last harvest and some of our cherry tomatoes and sweet millions that we're going to be using so anyway uh this is what the garden looks like because um, in spite of the rain, some of it's not getting wet enough. It's just, you know, the heat's just killing what little bit the rain does to it. Um, you do notice that this area here isn't all covered in peppermint anymore. We have cut down some of the peppermint um, because we know how, how much it loves to, to grow for us and take over spots. <laughs> But this was something else that I had gotten from um, Healthy Homestead Chick. She'd given me lots and lots of peppermint. So anyway, um, there's more sunflower seeds over there that have been eaten. Uh, this morning on these lemon pixie sunflowers, I had seen hummingbirds. Um... I think they also have, I don't know if you can see that, the sun's really bright, um, a hummingbird feeder. That's the, the red dye uh, feed, and we had some left over. Otherwise, I'd just be putting out regular sugar water with no additives or anything like that. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because with the sun coming out as bright as it is, the horse flies will be out soon, and I don't feel like fighting. Y'all know how, <laughs> you all know how that is. I don't feel like fighting. Um... Anyway, um, the things that have drip jugs that were still full when the rain started are doing good. But the containers that, you know, you see that. So, we're going to get to watering stuff and I'll see you guys in the comments. <laughs>